All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Christina, a.k.a. the Cherokee Gypsy, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Hello, my loves. I hope y'all are having a great Sunday. Today is actually going to be part of my Test It Sunday series that I've done a couple of times here on my channel. Um, I My last video I showed y'all was my Arben Cosmetics unboxing. Um, and I told y'all I was going to do a full face using these products. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, a couple of y'all commented and said that y'all love my hauls and that y'all love my channel. But y'all like me to do um, more makeup tutorials. So that's what I'm going to be doing here today. Um, I'm not going to ramble on because y'all know it takes me a long time when I do my makeup tutorials because I don't edit or none of that. So um, we're just going to go ahead and get started and just use step by steps. I'm just going to be using nothing but these Arben uh, products. Um, so let's just go right on ahead and see what we got. So I've already washed my face um, and I've already primed it, prepped it and primed it. I have a moisturizer on. So I'm going to tuck my hair behind my ears. And uh, I know y'all are thinking, wow, is she really not going to j jab her on and get straight to business? Yes, I'm going to today. By the way, I got my uh, Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Aisha on. I'm not a fan of it, but I figured since I was wearing all black with my Christina necklace, I would um, put a little witchy vibe on it today and put my Aisha shade on. Um, it, it's patchy. Um, I'm not a fan of liquid lipsticks in the first place. I'm a lip gloss, lipstick, lip balm kind of person. Um, liquid lipsticks to me, they get patchy after you eat or drink. And um, I like my stuff to wear off so I can reapply it again. But with liquid lipstick, you just get all these patchy messes all over your lips and I'm not a fan of it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So... The first thing we're going to put on, try out, is their, oh, that's the foundation. So, what's this? Oh, that's the makeup remover. Um, where's the primer? This is the primer, I think. So, this is the Arbonne uh, makeup primer. So, we're going to start by using, trying this makeup primer out. Oh, I'm nervous, y'all, because y'all know my, my face, like, is really, really sensitive. And But since these are botanical um, makeup products and they're all natural and don't have a scent to them, I'm hoping that it doesn't break my face out because they're natural. So, let's go ahead and get a little drop. No scent, like I said. Kind of reminds me of the Smashbox. Yeah. Reminds me of the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer. It's got the uh, same consistency. It actually feels pretty good on the skin. It's real soft. Um, which I have those texture issues. Y'all know that. But... I've been using my Sunday Riley UFO oil and the mattifying Martian gel toner along with my Pixi products. And um, my face has really been improving. So, yay! Thank goodness. So, I put the primer on. Um, it's very lightweight. Um, it's very, very soft. Like I said, it, it's the same consistency as the uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. If you've ever used that, it feels exactly like that. So, now we're going to you test out the foundation. So, if it's not the right color, y'all, please forgive me. Um, like I said, we're just kind of testing these products out and see how they work. So, we're going to be trying out the Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation Broad Spectrum with SPF 15 Sunscreen. And it is in the shade Rosy Beige. So, I know beige is my, you know, my color, but I'm like, I have a warm undertone with my skin, so I don't know about the rosy part, but we'll see. So, here is the foundation. So, I have my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, and let's just go ahead and, ooh, it's like real watery. You see that, like, going down? So, um, here we go. It's 
just put it all over my face and you can apply foundation any way you want to um, whether it be with the brush your fingers a beauty blender you can actually uh, you know take a couple of dots and like put it into your skin so your beauty blender or miracle complexion sponge doesn't soak up all the product so so far it looks like it's matching pretty well what do y'all think i mean i know i don't have the best lighting but i mean there's not a dramatic difference you know when it comes to like look at my neck and my skin um, I need a mirror. Babe, will you hand me my, uh, handheld mirror that you made me? Pretty please. Michael says hello, everybody. Thank you. So. Oh, wow. So, first impression of this foundation. It is, it looks like a light, a light to, uh, medium coverage. Let's just do another pump and let's see if it uh, becomes um, full coverage. So I'm going to shake it up a little bit because it was a bit watery. But remember, these products are natural. So this uh, expires in like six months. So um, let's do another pump. And this time I'm kind of going to... I'm trying to build this up and make it... See if we can get full coverage. All right. So, um, First impressions by putting another pump, it does appear a bit cakey. Um, and that might just be because this is made for more of a natural uh, light coverage. Um, I'm not going to say it looks bad because it honestly doesn't look bad. It's just that if you have perfect skin and you don't have any texture issues, then I think this foundation would be perfect for you um, because as I can tell it's obviously um, it can be buildable um, if you don't have any texture issues me on the other hand I have texture issues so therefore when I use too much foundation um, it tends to bring out, whew, my hand got tired. I tell you, patting a beauty blender in your face is something else, y'all. I don't know how people do it every single day. Y'all know I love makeup, but I tell you, I like sleep better. <laughs> so, like I said, this is actually a nice foundation. Um, and it's not far from my skin tone. It actually works for my skin tone. And up close. Um, I really actually like it. Um, I wasn't expecting to like just be blown away. But the coverage reminds me of... It's very, uh, it feels like watery on your hand when you put it on. And then once you put it into your face, like it's put it on your face, it's like really lightweight. Um, you can definitely tell that it is um, all natural. Um, it isn't heavy. And with my oily acne prone skin, you know, that's a major, major issue. So now I've got everything like blended in. And, um, from my impression of it, it looks pretty good. So, Arben, your foundations are actually, it, I mean, the one that I just tried is actually quite nice. And it doesn't feel heavy on my face. Um, 
I'd say this is for a light medium coverage. I feel like if you build it up too much, it, it'll be a bit cakey. Um, but as me looking at it, I think it's beautiful. Um, it gives you kind of a, whoa, what was that? Babe, get that. I'd be dang. There's always a freaking bug flying in my face when I'm trying to do a video. Babe, will you get that bug right here? Sorry, guys. I'm going to get Michael to get this bug real quick so it doesn't fly on my head when I'm trying to do this. I don't even see it. It's babe. right in here. It's in, there it is. It's a stink bug. I can't get it. Right there. Right here. It won't come out. It's not going, I can't get it. If it comes out, I'll get it. Oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't fly in my face. Um, I hear it. It's in there. See it? Yeah. It's a huge one, too. Oh my gosh, them stink bugs are, if you live anywhere in the south, these stink bugs are a pain in the arse. Um, it's gonna die during that heat. like I said, this, um, I'm actually quite impressed. Um, it's not the best foundation I've tried, but light to medium coverage, I highly, for vegans and people you know, who like cruelty-free brands and um, all-natural, um, I highly would suggest... Sorry, I keep looking up. I'm scared that bug's going to get me. Um, overall, um, as a first impression, this Perfecting Liquid Foundation by Arben Cosmetics, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, that's awesome. So, rosy beige is pretty much closest to my skin tone. So, next... Let's look in my little... Remember, we have a setting powder we get to try. And um, we have a bronzer we get to try. I'm looking for the concealer. That's the lipstick. That's the lip gloss. Conceal right here. This is the mascara we need to try. We're going to try the mascara. And this is the lip liner. We'll try that too. Um, brow pencil and medium eyeliner in carb we'll try that too um, what's this prime and pro oh, eye makeup primer we'll try that and I'm not sure what color I'm gonna use on my eyes because we have a they're all neutrals oh blush we'll try the blush um, shape it up tinted brow cream lipstick gloss okay so we're gonna try this concealer in medium neutral by Arben Cosmetics hopefully that stupid bug dies all right so here is the concealer the Arbonne concealer shout out to my Arben Cosmetics and shout out to Sarah for referring the Arben Cosmetics representative. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to try these. I love it. And I know that my subscribers are excited to see this. Me trying it out on my channel. So, let's go ahead and shake this concealer up. And let's try it. So, I'm going to pull all this down. Whoops. I need to get uh, my setting powder ready. So, because, let me tell y'all, if I like this setting powder, it might become a staple. So, like, I, here's the setting powder, Setting Pretty Translucent Setting Powder. So, I'm excited to try that, too. So, this uh, concealer, like I said, is in medium neutral, so we'll see how it works. Um, I prefer with my concealer, I like it about two shades lighter just so it can brighten up my under eyes, you know. But we'll make it work. We will make it work. So, do the little triangle. Um, first impression of this concealer. It is very lightweight. 
Um, it is not, it's a light coverage concealer. So, plus, like I said, I like mine a few shades lighter. As y'all can tell, the concealer pretty much matches my skin tone. So, let's try this concealer out. Let's bop it in or press it in. So, impressions on the concealer. Um, from first impressions on this concealer, it is very lightweight. If you are into natural, which actually it did brighten up my under eye a little bit. If you are into the natural look, like I said, if you don't like to cake face your makeup, which sometimes I do, but y'all see, see my under eye, it actually did brighten it up a little bit. Oh, and by the way, I use the same beauty blender that uh, I use the same Miracle uh, Complexion Sponge for my concealer and for my foundation. Um, just because I, I like how it works and blends everything in together. So, first impressions on the concealer. It is lightweight. Um, it is for a light coverage. It is not a full coverage concealer. But, like I said, they are about... All natural botanical products so they use less chemicals and less ingredients that would harm your skin in the process so everything is really like more of a natural look and lightweight um, I actually like this concealer it didn't uh, settle into my fine lines which is a good thing oh my gosh I got an eye booger in my nose I mean in my eye <laughs> What do y'all think? I need to get my eyebrows threaded. So, we have concealer on. So far, I'm liking this look. Are y'all liking it so far? Alright, now, we're going to use... Oh, I also use the same beauty blender for my setting powder, too. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, but it's okay because everybody's different. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So don't let anybody tell you, oh, you're not doing that right or you're not applying that right. There's not a right or wrong way, people. I'm just letting y'all know. And I think y'all already know that. Sorry. Uh, most people would just open this setting powder up. But me, on the other hand, I'm different. I like to uh, poke holes in mine. So it doesn't get messy and get all over the place. You see, like right here on the top, I like to... Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, I'm going to keep that right here. Poking holes, ladies and gents. Poking holes, which actually we'll just let it get messy. Oh well. Oh wow. So the inside looks like this. It's actually got like a wire. Look at that. That's actually pretty neat. I've never seen a setting powder like that with like a wire, like to catch it. Hmm, interesting. So, this is supposed to be a translucent powder. So, let's just go ahead and bake. Bake it on up, ladies. And, whoo, it can get messy.
Oh, yeah. Which I like to bake. So... All right, <laughs> so we're going to let this uh, setting powder, we're going to let it sit there. <sighs> Whoopsie, got makeup all over my video, all over my laptop. So we're just going to let this translucent powder just kind of sit on my eyes for about five minutes and we're going to move on to something else. <sighs> and uh, so let's try the, what are we going to try first? Let's do the eye primer. For the eyeshadow, which like I said, I don't I only have neutral eyeshadow colors to pick. So here is the eye primer by Arben Cosmetics. And it looks like this. So let's get to work on priming our eyes. Which usually to prime my eyes, I just use uh, my Tarte Shape Tape. It does the exact same thing, but everybody's different, you know. So, I've put the eye primer on, and now I'm going to tap it in to prepare my eyes, which I don't like getting makeup on my eyebrow ring, but it is what it is. Make sure your eye primer's all blended in well. Which, what's funny, is when I was younger, I never used no eye, eyeshadow primer. I just put my eyeshadow on and I never had issues. All these extra steps nowadays to do a full face of makeup, you know. I'm just like, golly. Okay, so, the eye primer worked pretty well. It just reminds me of a concealer. No burning or anything associated with it, so that's a good thing. Which, like I said, these products are natural, so you wouldn't think that they would burn. Babe, you got a text message. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, so now that we got that on, let's try the Arbonne. That's the eyeliner. Um, mascara, lip liner. There's the bronzer. Huh? Oh. So let's try the Arbonne Brow Pencil. This is the Shape It Up Brow Pencil. And it looks like this. It's got the spoolie on the end and it's got the pencil on the other end, which I think this is a little bit too light for my eyebrows. But we will make it work. So I'm going to take this spoolie and I'm going to brush up. Brush all your brow hairs up so you can see, you know, what spots you need to fill in. Before you fill in your brows, it's always important to brush your brow hairs upwards in an upward motion. You see? So it will show you kind of like right here. You see that right there from me brushing up? it shows spots that I need to like fill in. So now that I've got my brows, everybody does their brows differently too, so there is no right or wrong way. So let's just start to... No, it's pink. It's what? So first, you're going to want to... I like to draw a line underneath them and kind of do little flicks right here. You know, kind of like little natural flicks. I don't like the whole on fleek um, look like that you see on Instagram. I like to outline my brows first. Which actually, this brow pencil is actually working for my eyebrows, which is awesome. Because I usually use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Wiz. But I'm actually really liking this pencil. Um, it's real precise. So you can, you know, get in where you fit in. <laughs> 
So look at that. That actually looks really good. And that's the main purpose of filling out your brows, you know. And then you'll take it and then you'll brush it out some more. To make sure that you didn't miss any spots. Wow. I actually, now look at the difference. I actually like this brow pencil and it's not light, I mean it's not too light. You know, usually I wear, uh, usually I wear black on my eyebrows because my eyebrows are a very dark brown black. Um, but if I can make it work, I can make it work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to do the same thing to this eyebrow, which I have, I was blessed with naturally full eyebrows. So it doesn't really take long for me to fill my eyebrows in, as y'all can tell. All I'm really doing is just filling in all the spots, you know, any bald spots that I may have. Um, which, I don't have many bald spots. Um, wow, I actually really like this brow pencil. Good job, Arbonne. Yeah, these brow, this brow pencil is really nice. Do y'all like what y'all like see so far? Y'all like my eyebrows? Do they look like sisters or twins? Do they? <laughs> I think they actually look pretty dang good. Okay, so the eyebrow pencil is a plus, Arbon. Good job. So I do like this eyebrow pencil, which is awesome. My eyebrows are looking great. I'm digging it. So now that I have um, let my stuff bake, now I'm just going to take a powder brush and I'm going to dust the excess off and what do y'all think I feel like it's settled into my lines the setting powder set into my lines my little regular fine lines underneath my eye just a little bit but honestly, not that bad. So the setting powder and the concealer, if you like a natural look, um, I recommend you trying it, most definitely. I'm actually quite impressed with these makeup items. So now that I've got everything set, now we're going to try some Arbonne Glow On Bronzer. I love, love, love a bronzer. And remember, when I swatched this for y'all, I love the packaging. When I swatched this for y'all, it had a shimmery look. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's do a good swatch. So, I'm going to take one of my all-time favorite bronzer brushes. Oh my goodness, I don't like that. This is my, this is not good right here, y'all. This is my uh, Sonia Kashuk uh, bronzing brush. As you can tell, it gets, I don't like how it's, uh, I don't like how it's, the brush is, bl uh, bended like that. But when I wash it, it'll, I'll fix it. So, let's just do a little wash of color. Which you can put bronzer anywhere on your face, y'all. Ooh, that is pretty. Just to kind of warm up the face a little bit. This is actually pretty, y'all. What do you what do y'all think? It warmed up my face like Ooh, that is gorgeous. 
Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. That bronzer is stunning. I highly recommend this bronzer, y'all. Look how it warmed up my face. Like, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And I wish y'all could, like, see it. It's called bronzer. It's not in a necessarily sh uh, shade. It's just called bronzer. Well, it's beautiful. Lightly over bronzer. Reapply as needed. So, it's buildable. And that's exactly what I did. And it's perfect. Oh, my gosh. So, the Arbon Glow On Bronzer. It's stunning, y'all. Look at that. It's got me like... It's got like a uh, shimmer. It's You see how around my forehead and stuff, it's like bronzed my face up. It looks great. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely in love with that bronzer. It is definitely buildable, too. So, yay! I love that bronzer. Good job, Arbon. So, next, we're going to try the blush, the Arbon blush in the shade Dusty Rose, which I love Dusty Rose anything. So, here it is. That's what it looks like. We're at 31 minutes. I told y'all know this would be long. Ain't no... Ain't no something about it. So, I'm going to take my Wet n' Wild uh, blush brush. And I'm going to... Blush up the face. Ooh. Pretty. Okay. I'm loving the blush, too, y'all, in Dusty Rose. Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. We're at 32 minutes. Y'all know this takes forever. Um, so, yeah, that was everything. I don't even think I'm going to try an eyeshadow just because I only have one color. Let's try their eyeliner real quick because my video is extremely long. This is their eyeliner. Y'all know how long it takes. And it's a pencil. It seems really pigmented. So, um, never pull your eyes down. Never, like, pull your skin down on your eyes when you're doing it. Um, I would use the Beauty Blender. Um, it's very pretty. And I don't usually wear brown eyeliners. But it's actually stunning. Um, all these cosmetics are good, y'all. Which I, I was actually researching the brand. Um, because I'm really interested in their makeup line. And I said, if I liked their cosmetics, I'd become a customer. And I'm honestly living for all these products. This is definitely not a fail. Um, so, I tried the little eyeliner. So, let's try the mascara. And then we will be done um, with testing everything out. So, y'all have seen everything. So, this is their mascara called Arbonne. It's a long story mascara. And remember, I showed y'all in the test it. It's a very long brush. Okay, so let's try this out. I'm just going to do one eye, okay? Oh, wow. I'm very picky on my mascara. Um, I usually just use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara cause, and my Lancome Grandiose Nor Extreme mascara. And remember, these products are all natural, so they're not bad for your face, you know. So, um, oh my goodness. Now, this does not give me the length and volume that my Too Faced Better Than Sex does. But on first impressions, y'all, this mascara is good. Um, I'll show y'all. I'm not going to do the other eye just so you can compare them. Um, wow. 
Okay. So, I actually like this mascara. So, here we go. Look at the difference. So, look at this eye compared to this eye. Good mascara, y'all. Good mascara. I mean, that is stunning. Look at that. It's beautiful. So, the Arbonne It's a Long Story Mascara, I recommend too. So, overall, I'm very pleased with these products and I will put them in my makeup collection. I'm very thankful to own all these products and shout out to Arbonne Cosmetics and the consultant who contacted me. Thank you so much because now I have some new products that I will be using in my regular makeup routine, especially this bronzer. I love this bronzer the most. Um, I actually really love the blush too and um, I do like the setting powder, the translucent setting powder. Um, the brow pencil was good, the concealer and the foundation is like I said light coverage but most definitely my eyebrows look good, the mascara mascara is good, the eyeliner is good, everything's good. So overall, what do I give these cosmetics out of a 1 out of a 10? I give these about a 9. I mean, these are pretty good, an 8.5 to a 9. These are really good cosmetics. If you're looking for a new brand with all natural botanical ingredients, they care about what they put in their makeup. I would highly suggest you try out Arbonne Cosmetics. I will leave their website below just if you're interested. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, although I would love to be, wink, wink, um, because this is actually a brand that I would love to work with and be proud of to be a part of and work with. So I will definitely leave the link below so y'all can research their brand a little bit and get to know them better. Um, I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I know it was long, but y'all love to see makeup tutorials and I'm just giving y'all what y'all want. For the ones that don't like my long videos, I do apologize but I'm not going to change who I am and edit my videos. So for the ones that I know, and I know a lot of you love my long videos, a lot of you say my voice is therapeutic. It's like y'all are sitting here hanging out with me. Please comment and let me know what your favorite product was and if you think this final look looks pretty good, which I think it does. I love you all. We're almost to 1,000, y'all. Let's keep doing this. Share me to your friends and family. Let's get to 1,000 so I can, woo, dropping stuff so I can have another giveaway and get a high-end eyeshadow palette and give it away. I love y'all so much and thanks for watching. Bye!